hi guys welcome back to our channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking with us and clicking on this video if you are a new subscriber well i'm saying that by faith <laughs> but if you're new to our channel please do subscribe um hit the notification bell so that you are aware anytime we post and join the tribe subscribe and join the tribe and without delay any further delay let's get right into the video what this video really is is the entire content of the consultations that i usually have with my clients prior to locking their hair so um when you think that i actually do charge for my consultations you guys are basically getting all this good information for free okay so please pay attention and for those of you that find it difficult to focus in class okay yes my locks are freezing yes it's been over four weeks since i got my last retire you will be all right listen focus okay okay let's continue okay so let's get started Number one, I have a list of um, nine, nine points I want to cover here. So if you see me looking away from the camera, that's because I have a list. I wanted to keep to the list so that I make this video as short as possible. Okay. Typically, consultations, when I do them, last anything between 45 minutes to an hour. Um, how long they go on for depends on how many questions the client comes in with. Today there's no clients, there's just you guys. Very first thing I like to discuss is one. Why do you need a consultation? Okay. I don't know how many of you have seen those um, trendy t-shirts that um, a lot of lock lockheads have been, you know, sporting these days on Instagram. Well, almost on Instagram. I've seen a couple on, on YouTube. It says LOC apostrophe D on the front and then right under that it says committed. Okay. So the reason why you need a consultation is because locks are intended as a permanent hairstyle. And that's not to say that you can't take your locks out because you can't. Well, up until a certain point, I've seen people who have had their locks for as long as for five years, depending on what lock method they use to start, um, I see them still take their locks down successfully. However, the original intention of locks is to be worn as a permanent hairstyle. Okay, so I always tell my clients think about your locks as a committed permanent relationship that you're going to be in for the long haul. All right, so that's one reason. No same person. So think about it like a marriage. <laughs> think about your consultation. Okay. As marriage counseling. And I know some people will be like, yeah. Oh, what's it concept? Marriage counseling. Is I lost? I will explain. Okay. So remember I said locks are you should think about your locks as a permanent hairstyle. Most people who get them get them because you know. Um I'm, I'm done fooling around, messing around with my hair. Um, I want locks. I don't want to be bothered about my hair. Or whatever reason. For some people, it's religious, it's faith-based. But most people will get them, get them because, yes, this is, this is the hairstyle I want to be rocking for the next couple of years, you know. Um, there are very few people who get locks thinking, oh, I'm not going to wear this for, you know, six months. Or nine months and take them i have had clients who who went in with that intention um most of them ended up you know rocking their locks you know beyond that time period um but i say this to say that locks are a hairstyle that most people who get them want to wear for years okay so just like no sane person jumps into a marriage without first of all doing some research asking questions 
you at least well when i say no unless unless you're intoxicated or high or something most people who are getting into a committed relationship of whatever kind um usually try to do due diligence you know ask all the right questions so that your your relationship doesn't end up becoming a short-term relationship versus the permanent relationship you you were you were looking for all right um these days a lot what a lot of people do is you know if you have the person's um social media accounts if you're able to get your hands on their social media handles you go on facebook instagram tick whatever you know and do your research so at the very minimum it should be the same thing when you're trying to get your locks okay the second reason why a consultation is important is that most locks aren't cheap you know not the insulation not the maintenance uh well okay again depending um so but the vast majority of people who are getting locks these days honestly because right now micro locks sister locks are trending um i don't know whether that has anything to do with justice katanji <laughs> i feel it might because I, I i for one have put an upward take in the number of clients who are asking for um tiny locks um but i think that even before her um DIY micro locks were really taking off. So for whatever reason. But a lot of people who are considering getting locks um, nowadays are more interested in tiny locks than in your traditional locks or what people used to call dreadlocks. Um, and those certainly aren't cheap. I don't, no matter what country you're doing them in, you know, whether you're in Africa, the Americas, Europe, wherever, um, even if you're getting you know the tiny locks with the training it usually involves at least the initial insulation usually involves um some um sizable financial commitment um and so for all these for these two reasons um the fact that they're going to be permanent the fact that you can write quite a bit involve quite a bit of money um you want to do your research okay so that you figure out is this something is it really for me you know am i ready for locks um what kind of lock should I be getting given my hair density, given my hair type, what method should I be using to do my installation? How many locks do I actually need? Okay. And you know, given my lifestyle, if you're somebody who you work out a lot, um, your job involves um a lot of sweat. <laughs> Um, if you're somebody who is into water sports of any kind, you swim, whatever, you snorkel, you surf, um, it really plays a major part in deciding what kind of locks to get, what method you want to use to start them, even your lock part ratio, the number of locks you're going to get, all that good stuff, um, is what you want to find out before getting into the chair because i kid you not at this point off the top of my head i've had at least at least four it may be more um but four that i can think about right now i've had at least four clients who came in with one type of lock and then took it down um just to get a different type of lock some of them had had their locks for as long as eight years um some had had their locks for five years or a little bit more um some had literally had their locks for two weeks I, you can't make these things up <laughs> trust me you know so in order to avoid this being you in order to avoid paying all this money and then two weeks or four years or five years down the line you're not happy with what you have you are trying to find another loctician to give you another you know set of locks just please listen carefully, take these words to heart. And yes, even though I'm talking mostly um, to my folks um, who are considering tiny locks, even if you have larger locks or traditional size locks, I'm sure there's some good information in this video for you to take away. All right.